not making more progress with our women. It's not that we don't have great women, we have fantastic women. Why are they not coming all the way through the pipeline? There are two reasons why we started researching the gender diversity in corporations. First, beyond ethical reason, women represent half of the talent pool, so we felt it was critical to have the best brains, both men and women, at a time of talent shortage. Second, there was a big question being asked. Does it matter? Does it really matter for corporations to have more women at the top? Does it matter for their performance? for their competitiveness. I'm passionate about researching this issue um, for, for a couple of reasons. The first is what I do for clients is I work with them to help make long lasting, really big shifts in performance. And obviously that includes making sure you have the right mix of people inside the organization. So the essence of work is not just about helping individual women to be more successful in the workplace. It is also about helping the corporations to improve their performance. We started by looking at um, the performance of companies on two dimensions. Um, one was their financial and operational performance and the other was their organisational health and how effective they were. Gender diversity is critical for corporation because it does matter for their performance. Back in 2006 and again in 2010, we surveyed over 300 companies worldwide covering all industry sector. And we found out that companies which had more women at the top had better financial returns compared to company with zero women at the top. The second thing we also see is using our own organization health database. We see that companies with more women at the top also have higher scores in organization health. So we asked ourselves the question, why? And we found out that part of the answer lies in the diversity of leadership behaviors that women can bring in corporations. An example would be uh, decision making. Men tend to be more individual in decision making and better at corrective action. Women tend to be better at collaboration decision making and in fact, to really worry about the environment and the values and making sure that everybody's in it together. You need both to make a company move. The good news is that since our first study in 2006, the level of awareness on this topic has dramatically increased. What's fundamentally changing is that top managements are starting to figure out that we need more talent we need to serve our customers better, we need to motivate and mobilize our employee base better, and we have all these people who are willing to take the risk and do the job. Why wouldn't we give them a chance? We surveyed 235 companies and we found that compared to last year there was, a, there was an approximate doubling of the companies who said they were paying attention to this topic and where this was a, an important topic on the strategic agenda. Um, and we also found that the number of things they're trying has gone up since um, the last couple of years where we've been looking at this. So this feels like it's getting better, but it's not where it should be yet. The issue is that change is not happening. Women are still massively underrepresented in both boards of director as well as executive committees. The truth is that putting initiatives in place doesn't guarantee success. What our latest study reveals is that what matters for impact is not so much what you do than how well you do it. So the hallmarks of companies that are really having an impact with their gender diversity programs, the first thing is that they have visible CEO and senior management commitment, which is visible from the top to the bottom of the organization and nobody can doubt that they're just paying lip service. Um, the second is that they know the numbers, so they're very clear where are the blockages in their particular pipeline of women and that the initiatives that they put in place are targeted against those particular points in the pipeline. And finally, that they tackle the mindsets. Now, top management 
might believe in the business case, but by the time you get down to middle management, we know for sure that fewer people do believe. The reason fewer people believe is they've got embedded mindsets like, gosh, that job is just isn't good for a woman, or women are too emotional, or if a woman fails in that job, she will set back the women's initiative by 10 years. Imagine that. The notion that women must take care of their family is particularly strong for Asia. One third of them told us that this notion influenced many of the uh, mid to senior level women to voluntarily leave their jobs. We will not be very successful if we don't drive cultural changes as well as providing practical support for Asian women with this double burden. Gender diversity will be a very, very long journey. We are also very encouraged by some of the initiatives that we have seen across different Asian countries. I'm hugely optimistic about what the future holds for women in senior management positions. I don't think it's suddenly going to get dramatically easier. Equally, I think it's only going to get better. It's our job to get to some kind of critical mass as quickly as we can so that subsequent generations of talent will be even better than we are. It's going to happen. <laughs>